What's up guys, it's Procaster here. I'm doing my Cyber Dragon deck profile. Uh, I've been playing this deck a lot online, and it's been a lot of fun, especially with the new balance with Honesta 2 and, well, other things, I guess. So I'm going to go straight into the deck profile. I'm playing the three Cyber Dragons. This is very standard. You need to play this for your uh, machine dupe. Your uh, <laughs> machine dupe plays on your uh, cores and just, and for your uh, power bonds to get your twin or cyber twin dragon out on the field. Uh, then you're playing the three Cyber Dragon cores. Um, pretty much, this guy is a Cyber Dragon while it's in the on the field and graveyard. Uh, when he's normal summoned, you can add your Cyber Repair Plant. And the second effect, which is probably one of my favorite effects is um, when this guy's in your graveyard and you control another of the monsters, uh, you can banish it to special summon a Cyber Dragon from your deck. Now this is actually one of the easier, better combos, just because you can special summon Cyber Dragon, normal summon Dry, make a rank 5, make Pleiades, or summon Dragon Nova. Uh, then I'm playing the three Cyber Dragon Drys. Pretty much, when this card is normal summon, you can make all other Cyber Dragons on the field um, level 5. He is also a Cyber Dragon, so you just make him a level 5. So, as I was saying before, you can uh, special summon Cyber Dragon, normal summon Dry, make him a level 5, and then go for a rank 5 play. Um, he has this other effect of when he is banished, you can target a Cyber Dragon, and it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Which isn't that great, because it doesn't really get banished unless you're playing like the Trap card. And his is also a Cyber Dragon while it's face up on the field and Graveyard. Uh, the last... Ah, uh, not really the last. I'm playing the th three Cyber Valleys. Pretty much this deck is quite slow, so you do play the Cyber Valleys to um, slow down your opponent to end their battle phase and just draw an extra card. Um, unfortunately, this card isn't treated as a Cyber Dragon, so you, it doesn't work with Cyber Dragon Dre's effect, but that doesn't matter because you will be slowing down your opponent and drawing a card off it. Uh, then the last Cyber card is Cyber Latanen. This card is a very good... Um, one card of DK, for instance, you can special summon this, clear the field, and just like attack. So, like, you can win games of this one card if your opponent doesn't really prepare for it. And then, just for the hand traps, I am playing the three maxis. Um, pretty much, this card is just amazing. You, it allows you to get to your power bonds faster, slows down your opponent, and it's just generally just like if you can pull to get a swift scare, um maxi off, you can just OTK your opponent next turn. And to make sure you survive the OTK, or your opponent's OTK, you have to play double Swift Scarecrow. Um, I don't, I couldn't find my second Swift Scarecrow because I've been playing this deck a lot online. But pretty much you play Maxi and Swift Scarecrow just so you can, um, you can draw your cards. And then you're playing double Swift Scarecrow so there's more um, possibility of drawing into it. So it just allows you to survive that turn. So on your turn, you can just go Power Bond and just, just win really. And then the reason why I actually play this deck is because of the Double Honest. Because then you just go power bond and then you go honest and just do some damage. And it's really fun to get play. <laughs> um, yeah, and that is it for the monsters. For the spell cards, I'm playing the three cyber repair plants. Pretty much, um, so the, one of the comments is you summon uh, cyber dragon core, uh, search this, and just wait till quarter dies so you can activate cyber repair plant on your next turn. So one of, the, one of the reasons why the deck's quite slow because you cannot activate this card unless you have a cyber dragon in your graveyard. And apparently all its effect is is you just add a light machine type monster from your deck to your hand. And if you control three Cyber Dragons in your graveyard, you can then target a light machine type monster in your graveyard, add that to your deck. So if you control three, you can activate both effects. You can um, put one back into the deck and then add that to your hand. Uh, then the next three spell cards will be three power bonds. Uh, you need to play the three power bonds simply because um, you can't search this card off um, core. And it just allows for your OTKs when you just get the double attack. And to make sure that your plays go through, you will be playing the double instant fusion. Um, one's a proxy because, well, I just couldn't find my second instant fusion. You just get out Panzer Dragon or any other level 5 fusion monster and just make a rank 5 XC, which is very good. And then you're playing two machine duplications. Um, I don't own the machine duplications anyway. Um, pretty much you activate these cards on Cyber Dragon Core and Cyber Valley. If you activate it on Cyber Core, you, you can get out two more Cyber Dragons because this guy's um, name is then treated as a Cyber Dragon, which allows you to have a face up Cyber Dragon Core and two Cyber Dragons, which you can then use those two to make a Cyber Dragon Nova or a Pleiades if you're versing like any other deck. And you can also use it with Cyber Valley 
to get out two more Cyber Valleys, use its effect, um, to banish two, to draw two cards, leaving you with the one Cyber Valley for your opponent, which is still a very good play. Uh, and then you have the one limited removal for your other OTKs, one Soul Charge, and the one Book of Moon. Uh, this is the main spell lineup, and then you have the three Mystical Space Typhoons for everything that's just random, really. Uh, and that's it for the spell cards. Uh, for the traps, I'm playing a very low trap count, because I feel like um, with everything else I'm playing with, like the two Swiss Crows, three Maxis, you don't really need any more traps, so I just kept it basic with the one Compulse and the three Dewey Prisons. I really do enjoy um, Dimensional Prison, because when I was playing in uh, YCS Sydney, the first match against some um, Satellanite, I think his name was Tori, um, I was playing Burning Abyss, he was playing Satellanite, and I don't know, I was the one card I was scared of hitting was D-Prison, because you would make Alucard clear like um, one of his back rows, but then you just have like his other three back rows, because he just played a lot of traps, and it was just really hard to um, well, like go for game, really. So D-Prison is actually just one of those cards, actually. I'm really enjoying this format. And that's it for the trap cards. Uh, for the extra deck, playing these two Cyber Dragon Novas. Um, this card is actually really good when you start going off. When you start going off with like Power Bonds and like um, your other plays as your special summoning, it's just a really good card because you can detach one, um, special target a Cyber Dragon card in your graveyard. So you can target like Core, Dre, or Cyber Dragon and you special summon it. And then you, during either player's turn, you can banish a Cyber Dragon card to make this guy gain 2100 attack or to like during either player's turn. And his other effect is that this card is sent to the graveyard by opponent's card effect. Um, you can then especially summon a machine type fusion monster from your extra deck. So you can summon like another Cyber Twin Dragon or a Cyber End Dragon, which is actually really cool against the right decks. Um, then you're playing the three Cyber Twin Dragons. A lot of builds play two, but if you're playing um, three Maxis, um, you can get to the third power bond quite easily. And you can especially summon him off uh, Cyber Dragon Nova. So I really enjoy playing three because then you can just go honest on it, even if it only has 2800 attack and just still try and go for game because it can attack twice during each battle phase, which I find is probably the best card effect. Uh, then you're playing the one Cyber and Dragon just in case I can you go for a game because it does inflict piercing damage and you can get to 8000 quite easily and it's very quite <laughs> good. Uh, then the one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Uh, some builds play two. I'm only playing one because it's. Too like personally, I only see it as an outer killer or towers as it is. And other than that, there aren't really any many machine decks. Uh, and then for the instant fusion targets, you have the one Panzer Dragon and the one Alligator Sword. I couldn't find the second uh, Panzer Dragon, but I did really enjoy um, Alligator Sword. So you can um, use Panzer Dragon to make Pleiades and Cyber Nova Dragon because it is a light and a machine. With Alligator Sword, you can use, use it to make any other rank 5 monster, because it is, well, a level 5 monster. And it's just a really, really fun card to play. And um, then playing the one Castella Pleiades, this card's amazing against Burning Abyss. It's just good against any rogue deck. If you're going first, I would just make Pleiades and just stall out. Or, like, um, try and get to my power ones faster and my cores, and it's just a really good card. Uh, then one Shark Fortress last, you go for those OTKs, like, it faster. You just detach one to make any monster attack twice, and then this card can still, can still attack, so it's just really good. Uh, the one wind up Arsenal Zen Meyer, I don't own this card. Um, pretty much, when you use Dry's Effect, I, I probably meant, forgot to mention this, but when you use Dry's Effect, you can only special summon a rank 5 um, machine type monsters. So Zen Meyer is just another um, rank 5 machine monster they can just make, and then. Yeah, destroy two of your opponent's back rows. Then I'm playing the one Tyrus. Uh, once again, I didn't own this card, and it's just another really good rank 5 card against the right decks. Uh, one Volcosaurus, just another um, way to win the game. I don't own. And then the one guy Charger, so you can just go Volca Gaia, and just go for game without even using your um, Cyber Twin Dragons effects. Um, anyway, so this concludes my uh, Cyber Dragon deck profile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Remember to comment below if you have any questions, like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Now, this is Pro Custard, signing out.